What's up guys, this is Grand Crystal Star here with some more Wallace and Gromit in Project Zoo. In the last episode, we went through the polar bear exhibit. And you know how in the last episode that I thought that I had only five tools and that pedalo required six? Well, I already have six. But there is something else that I need to do first. Uh, it says that I need to, um... you go, Gromit. We'll meet up later. Righto. Anyway, uh, it says that I'm supposed to cross this Petalo River and rescue the final, uh, baby polar bear cup thing, person, place. It could be a place. Shut your face. I rhymed again. This little ball thing will rise every time. Keep alternating these little pressure pad things here. And thus, you can uh, have the camera go all weird and uh, have the same treatment as Wallace. What? What? What happened there? Was I not... That was fantastic! Okay. Now instead of getting killed by something we're supposed to use to our advantage, let's do this right, huh? You know, I'm not really sure if you have to alternate these or if you can just keep pressing one, but I think it's just... I think you just have to alternate. Fourth time's the charm, maybe? Apparently so! That's pleasing. Didn't even have to grab onto anything. Aha! I made it that time. Aha! A safe platform that's not spinning. Ah, yes, I see what I'm supposed to do here. Another porch gun, quote unquote, puzzle. And so we're supposed to activate that button, apparently. Good, I almost fell in the water again. Button! I think some of these might be bottomless pits. I am going to make super sure that I do not fall in. Okay. Here. Oh, what the heck is this thing? What the freak is this thing? Yes, I said freak. Please, don't... Ah. What is going on with this thing, anyway? Don't even know what that is. But either way, I destroyed it. So, <laughs> K9 has... Um, what would you say? Alright, there we go. Lag's gone. Sorry about that, people. Just a minor technical difficulty. And up here. What is up here? Oh, things that I can fall off of. I love things that I can fall off of. Oh, hey, look. It's the little polar bear cub. Oh, no. I'm supposed to press the buttons. Buttons that I'm supposed to press. Aha! There we are. Hello, little buddy. How are you today? I can see you're kind of trapped. Maybe I could help you with that. And so we have rescued the polar bear cub over the Petalo River. Not exactly sure what the consequence was of not rescuing him, but... Unlike the one... That one, uh, panda that we saw above the, uh, office shredder. That, that would not have ended well. <laughs> And there's stuff swing swimming under the water. At first I thought that was a shark, but no, they wouldn't do that. Not like Banjo-Kazooie. And Snacker. You all remember Snacker if you remember Treasure Trove Cove. But that's not the game that we're talking about here. We're talking about Wallace and Gromit. Anyway. Now that I've met all the requirements, uh, I can just head back over to that little paddle boat. And do some stuff with it. Not been in trouble, I trust. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, I'll go overboard with the outboard, put a turbocharger on the back, and a turnip launcher on the front. 
can't do any harm to give it a go. Honestly, I'm surprised that Wallace built that that fast. Anyway, so ends the polar bear exhibit, or at least this first part of it. Go ahead and save my data, and then head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Unawares. All right, you feather brain felon, eat turnips. Oh, I say, if, if I can just. Ha, ha, how's that? Ha, ha, ha. Now the foot's on the other boot. <laughs> Let's see what happens if. Oh, blimey. No, Ugh. Thanks to Wallace, we have both um, acquired Feather's uh, remote control, but at the same time, unleashed a submarine and a bunch of glaciers upon us. Anyway, this is the Pedalo. The Pedalo controls kind of badly, because it's both fast, but it's also difficult to control. And also, anything that hits it will kill it, or destroy it. It can't die because it's a machine. Oh, see? Just like that. Torpedoes, instant death. Glaciers, instant death. Anything, instant death. See? That's why this boss battle is kind of difficult. Yeah, this is a boss battle if you weren't aware. The audio is cutting out on me a little bit, and might... Well, never mind, it's back now. Just forget I even said that. Oi. I hope you can... <laughs> I hope you can feel my pain of controlling this thing, because this thing is just so bad when it comes to controls. But hey, at least it's fast, right? So you can make a good getaway. Always look for the positives. But don't subtract, because that's not a good thing. If any if math has taught you anything, it's that subtracting is bad. We all live in a metal submarine. A deadly submarine. An exploding pedal <laughs> Ugh. It would be bad to live in a, in an exploding pedal though. If you live in something that, that's exploding, I, I don't know where your logic comes from, honestly. But of course, I'm riding a freaking paddle boat with thrusters on the back, shooting at little icicles. Wait, those aren't icicles, they're icebergs. Can't hit them. Come on. Hit something! There. No, don't rise up on me. You jerk! Ugh, I need to pay attention to where he is under the water. Ugh. It would be nice if I actually had a chance to take a hit or two. That would be a great thing. I hate this boss battle! <laughs> and I have to do the same thing three times in a row. All without taking a single hit. It's like Kaizo Mario, but with freaking Wallace and Gromit. But still. I don't know why turnips disappear, but oh boy. Okay. Okay. I've got him in a fairly good position. I'm going to try to... Oh! The good thing to do would just be to keep on moving. Moving forward. Oi! 
Have I mentioned that I hate this boss yet? I don't think I have. Or I might have. And I just don't even freaking care. This is actually kind of fun in a frustrating kind of way. <laughs> it's hard to understand, I know, but it's, it is so. Oh, he's right underneath of me. I don't want that. Do not want. No. Not shoot me today. Aha. But now I have to do the same thing again. And I think there's more icebergs each time. Got some asteroids action going on here. You'd want to take care of the small ones first. Since they can be a real pain. Okay, so where's the... Okay, there's the submarine. Oh! Aha! did it. Well done, Gromit. We'll stop that feathers yet. Lead away, lad. Age before beauty. <laughs> <sighs> that was not easy. I'm telling you that right now. But anyway, <sighs> there's where it ends, I'm pretty sure. So wins the polar bear exhibit. And so we have entered the sixth and final area of the game. Feathers Lair. And do you know how we obtained his uh, little remote control? Well, this door has that same symbol on it. And voila. But Feathers is doing something very dastardly. He's... Oh, for one, he's shooting these things at me. Shooting rockets at me. But he's also... Um... Also trying to, um... Get rid of little Archie. Little polar bear cub. If you weren't aware. Ooh... Okay. Whoa! Oh boy. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Don't care, don't care. I imagine that I'm going to be using the uh, turnip launcher a lot. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, how'd that hit me? There's cameras everywhere. They're like those flying cameras that we saw in the Ah. Uh. Stupid door, why won't you open? There we are. That one's moving really fast. Ow. No, don't let me. That's electricity. I don't want to do that. That seems like a very bad idea. Not sure about you, but... Alright, I'm gonna get some more health before facing these enemies. Ugh. Even facing them with half, half health is a bad thing to do. Alright. Whoa, these things are super freaking fast. 
Oi. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just mashing buttons at this point. Aha! My plan was successful. There we are. Lift acquired. I'm, j I'm just gonna tell you right now, I don't remember a ti the tiniest bit of Feather's Lair. I really don't. Oh boy. Do I choose the electricity or do I choose the mashing spike plates? Aristotle versus mashy spike plate and apparently falling off a cliff. <laughs> That's a great thing to do. Oh, it put me all the way back here. Wait. Oh, never mind. Wait, yes, mind. Yes, mind. Ah. Uh, I should just do this. Ah. Uh, okay, that's not as good as an idea as I thought it was. You die. Because you're a machine and you can do that. Oh, good. I thought that little enemy almost got on the... On the lift with me. That would not have been a good thing. Okay. I'm just gonna be really, really careful here. Now, that's not careful. Aha! No, Archie! Camera, why do you keep doing that? Now we've got to save little Archie. If we let him, uh, you know, then we fail. And we have to start back from somewhere else. Where? I'm not exactly sure. What? No! Oh, I'm sorry, Archie. I'm so sorry. That seems pretty morbid for Wallace and Gromit. It's just like that robotic dog from that one sheep episode. I'm not really sure what the name was. I hope I don't run out of ammo for this thing. That would be bad. No, Archie, I won't let you go. Go, go. Ha. Let me through. Not sure what that button did, but I hope it was something good. Ah, there's three platforms. <sighs> okay, after these platforms stop moving, I'm probably going to end the episode. Ride this a little bit further. Archie! There's Archie. How am I standing on these things without taking damage? I don't even know. Alright, to the next place I can, I'm going to save the game and end the episode. Which I believe is somewhere over this way. Okay, yes. Yes. Alright, with that, everyone, I think that's a good place to stop. So in the next episode of Wallace and Gromit and Project Zoo, we're going to be going through Feather's Lair even more. See you later, guys.